I'm sitting here on my boat because it relaxes me a lot. I think that's a good idea when you look at your profits and losses from your stocks. I want to now go back all the way to my first season where I bought my first stocks. Now you must know something. I'm not a fan of stock analysis. I'm not a fan of trading. I don't like it. As a matter of fact, I've been investing in index fund for the, for the, for the life until I created the Obermott stock search engine. So when I started my first portfolio, I was really nervous. I was nervous that I'm going to make things that look, make me look really stupid. And now I want to look at the losses of that first portfolio. All those things that could really make me look stupid. Let's look at them. I lost a lot with a solar technology company, Meyer Burger, 39% over the, over the past year. Now, this was actually a decision that I made out of emotional reasons. And I knew the risk is high. I knew I'm, I can lose with Meyer Burger. It's a high-risk company. But I like the CEO. I know him personally. They are a customer of my company, which makes me even closer because I believe they have a very good executive compensation system, something that puts the, the incentives right. So I like Meyer Burger for many, many reasons. Buying the stock of Meyer Burger then was more an emotional decision and as I always say, emotions are bad when you invest. And it actually came back to me, haunting me with a loss of 39%. Is that really bad? No, because I kept with my rule of not putting everything into one basket. At my burger, I bought 5,000 francs of the 100,000 francs, and that means only 5% of my entire portfolio. This means the 39% loss in my burger is only uh, is only a 2% actually, a little bit less than 2% of my entire portfolio. So I put in emotions, I got hurt, but it's not that bad. What about the other losses? Luxotica, fashion in Italy, is it explainable that they're lo losing in value? Yes, probably afterwards because the, uh, the, the luxury boom stopped. Vodafone, Sanofi, Biosystems, Sandvik, Actually, Sandvik was a stock where at one point I had a 30% loss. And you can see if you wait a little bit, it's, uh, it, it actually is not as bad as it looks. That was my situation with my first portfolio. I wish you good luck with your own investing.